Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To use the brush tool, select it from the toolbox and make sure that the color that you want to apply to the image is selected as the foreground color. Make sure that you've selected the appropriate layer to which you want to add the brush strokes over in the Layers panel. The highlighted layer is the one to which the brush strokes will be applied. Oftentimes, if you're trying to apply an effect and it doesn't appear in the image, you have the wrong layer selected in the image. To use the brush tool, just click and drag with the circle that appears in the image to paint. The circle represents the width of your brush. If the lines aren't appearing as you wish, remember that you can reverse your steps over in the History panel and try again. So let's go ahead and take a look at this tool. We'll go ahead and right click on the pencil tool and then left click to select the brush tool. We'll want to make sure that we have the correct layer selected. We want to paint on the background layer, so we'll give that a click over in the layers panel. And then we want to paint with this same red color that we've already started painting with in this image. So to do that, we'll go over here in the toolbox, we'll click our foreground color, and then we'll just use the eyedropper to match that same color. Give it a click, select OK. Now let's look into the options bar with the brush tool selected and it's here where you can set different options that affect how the brush tool will interact with the underlying layer of the image. First of all, once you've created a brush that you use frequently, you can save it as a preset tool that you can then access in the future with all of the brush options that you already have set. To do this, click the Brush Presets button to view the preset tool settings in a drop-down menu. Let's go ahead and do that. It's located at the left end here of the options bar, little downward pointing arrow. We'll give that a click. We'll see a few brushes listed here. And the button that we're looking for is on the right hand side. It's right here. It's called Create New Tool Preset. We'll give that a click. So once you click that button, you'll be prompted with this dialog box where you will enter a name for this brush. We'll just call it test for right now. After you enter a name in that text box, you can also check or uncheck the include color checkbox to include or exclude the current color choice with the tool settings. We'll go ahead and leave that as is. Then you click OK and you'll see then that our brush with its current settings is set over here in this list. So the next time that you go to use the brushes, if you want that same brush again, you can then click the Tool Presets button, use the drop down for the brush presets that you have available, give that a click, and you'll select that same brush. Now the options that you can save as a preset are to the right of the Brush Presets button. So let's go ahead and take a look at that all in here in the options bar. You can also set these options even if you only intend to use them for the current moment only. First off, clicking the Brush Options button right here displays a drop-down of brush options that you can set. You use the Size or Master Diameter slider to set the width of the brush tip that you'll use to paint. So that's located right here. You just click and drag it to set the size of the brush. So depending on the version that you're using, it's going to be called either size or master diameter. You can also type in an exact size if you want in pixels into the text box if you prefer. You can also use the hard this slider, this right here at the bottom, to set the rigidity of the edge of the brush tip that you'll use to paint. You can also type this in as a percentage in the box provided. You can use the list of brushes at the bottom of this drop-down to select a pre-created brush style to use to paint. So at the bottom here, you just scroll down and there's all these different brush styles that you can select from and we'll look at some of these later. So you just click on one, for example, to select it. Now in version CS5, we'll go ahead and click out of here, 
they introduce what's called the brush panel toggle button, which is located right here. And with that, you can toggle the brush panel that we'll look at in the next chapter on and off, just by clicking it like that. You can use the mode dropdown, located just to the right of that, to determine how the brush will apply the color and interact with the color of the pixels it's painting over. There are several color modes that we will examine in the next section, as you can see here. You use the opacity drop down and slider right here to set the transparency level of the paint that you are using by clicking and dragging or when there's a text box like this you can also just enter a value if you prefer. Now if you want to use the current brush tool as an airbrush you click the airbrush button at the right end of the options bar that's located right there, enable airbrush mode. And this will allow you to apply gradual tones to an image, kind of simulating an airbrush technique. Now the flow drop down allows you to set the airbrush flow of color and can be disregarded if the airbrush effect isn't enabled. Lastly, if you're using a pressure sensitive digitizing tablet, you also have selections that allow you to control the opacity and brush size through the tablet, overriding the brush panel settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.